welcome back to another video. So I apologise if my voice is a bit ill in this video. I'm not 100% well. But I've just had a delivery from Traditions. So I thought I'd do an unboxing for you guys. Here with my copper. So let's see how we get on today. So we have a slightly different backdrop because I'm actually filming from my dad's house instead of like at home or at the yard. So that's a little bit different. So hopefully the lighting is going to work in my favour, but we'll see. And then this is my new Aztec Diamond base layer. This is the nude one. It looks like it's got Diamond logo. Um, the arm is of it. It says Aztec Diamond Equestrian on it. I really like it. My mum thinks it's a bit light on me, but who knows? Maybe I'll actually tan with it. Who knows? So, postman arrived this morning with this beautiful box. I've undone all the stickers because I time lapsed it last time and it just was very confusing for me when I was trying to edit. So, this is the inside of my box and I guess it's time to unpack and see what we got this month. So I ordered the £15 mystery box and it came with a selection of things and if I take this one and this one off the top you can see that there's even more underneath so we're gonna enjoy getting into this and finding out what's actually in here because I think I can see a treat jar and there's some human sweets there's some chocolate and then there's this box. I don't know what's in this box, so that's going to be really exciting to open. So I think I'm going to start with this because I don't actually know what any of it is. So this one here says includes uh, seaweed, flour, honey and oil. Not dog friendly, so I assume this is one of the seaweed treats. As always, they're all wrapped in brown paper and tied with twine, so it's all completely recyclable, which I think is fantastic. Um, and then the treats themselves come in greaseproof paper. So in the greaseproof paper with this seaweed spiral, this is, I believe, from the new range. As always, the sweet seaweed treats smell incredible. There is a huge list of health benefits for them, but I can never remember them off the top of my head. Um, I don't personally see seaweed as a supplement, but I know plenty of people do. So if I remember, I will include a like a graphic with information about seaweed because. Yeah, um, the treats always go down well, so I assume that the health benefits are quite important. Up next was a little bar of milk chocolate. Um, this was these three things were all part of the little thing that said well, like welcome to the team, so that was really cute. And then the final thing was the little the little tiny box. So if I can, oh, was these turmeric treats? So there's two coins and two. Stars. These are Bee's favourite, so I'm sure these will go down a treat. Um, but yeah, I'm really grateful for everything. Um, so I will include my code on the screen here. But this was the little welcome card that came with it, which I think is adorable. Um, so yeah, if I've not remembered to edit that in, please someone nag me in the comments to do so. Up next is this, which is uh, their new treat jars. Um, can't quite read what it says on the front, but it's a mason jar with the little twine. It's got the traditions logo at the top, and then it's full of the turmeric hearts. This is a new product, and I'm actually really excited that this was in my mystery box because I was actually going to purchase one of these this month. Um, I am a sucker for glass jars and storage things like that, so this is awesome. And have a look. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, they smell amazing. So yeah, this is the little turmeric hearts. Well, actually, I say little. They're not that little. Um, and yeah, B and River both love these, but B gets one pretty much every other day at this point. Bits and bobs. And yeah, this is their tote bag. I love a reusable shopping bag. I, I have more than I'm willing to admit at this point. Um, but I love this one because it's got the Traditions logo on. And if you don't know the story behind their logo, you should head over to their page um, because it's just a really interesting story about it. And I just think this is adorable. So the last three things in the box were all treats. Uh, they all come with the little twine and the bow. I've already taken the string off this one. So on the front is a label that tells you what it is. So this one says traditions, garlic hearts, then got the ingredients. And this one says not dog friendly because the garlic treats are not dog friendly. Um, all three sets of treats that I got, like in the little sets afterwards, were all heart shaped, which I thought was lovely. Ooh, but there's actually also some rounds and some stars in here as well. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this on camera. 
So it's two coins, five hearts, and a star. These are River's favourite. River quite likes these, which I was really surprised about because he's not the biggest garlic fan. Um, but that's what's in this little bundle, and then I will see what's in the other two next. So the next one is the plain treats. Again, I'm not very good at showing treats off, but these are the plain. These are suitable for dogs. Again, in moderation. This is one coin, two stars, and then five of the hearts again. Um, I've not actually had any of the plain treats before, so I'm really excited to see what the horses think of the plain ones. And then finally, I have some more seaweed treats. So this is one coin, two stars, and five hearts again. I actually really like these little like mixed bundles, so I'm super excited to try them out with the horses. And I think that is everything from this haul. I will try and remember to include um, some information graphics about why the tournament treats are good for horses and seaweed and the garlic and if I forget I'll make sure it's in the description down below because it's actually really interesting why these treats were all chosen. They are all lammy friendly because the pony behind traditions is a lammy pony and obviously that's kind of really important to me because with B having her laminitis diagnosis and the potential that it could be something slightly more sinister it was really important to me that I found a treat company that worked with my pony. So team is genuinely some of the lovely sweet people that I've met and I'm really honestly over the moon to be a brand ambassador for them. Um, yeah, it was a bit out of the blue, a uh, kind of last minute decision, but when the treats are as beautiful as this, you can see why every single treat is, you know, perfectly proportioned and neat and they're all, the exception of circle of foot, circle of circle, which they're always a little bit off. Yeah, the thought that goes into the packaging and how it's all environmentally friendly and there's no plastic involved just really suited my morals so I yeah I'm over the moon and I really recommend and I hope you have enjoyed today's video um I will try and include some clips afterwards of us taste testing them I don't know if it's gonna be my ponies or Sam's ponies that's to be confirmed so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one this is one of the seaweed stars from the traditions question who I am a band ambassador for so Miss B is going to have one, if she decides it's not going to eat her. Bangle! No, we're not in the mood for treats today, so I guess it's River's turn. So we will try River and see what River thinks of treats. The um, flies here are getting on his nerves slightly, but that's nothing new. River's not a big fan of the flies. Do a treat, buddy! Hey! He does have a garlic heart in there, which he has eaten, so... I thought I'd show you what the packaging looked like when the parcel arrived. It was really cutely wrapped like it was last time, there was a sticker closing it, and then when I opened it up, it came in the same beautiful blue wrapping paper, um, tissue paper, sorry, from last time, and then this was the inside.